Hey guys, it's prediction time and review time of last weekend's predictions and accumulator. So to start off with our predictions from last weekend. As you can see, we managed to get two out of ten with perfect scores, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, one game was Manchester City against Everton and the other game was Brighton versus Chelsea. Obviously a disappointing result to lose at home, but considering we're playing Chelsea, um, you know, 2-1 isn't such a bad score to lose by on paper. But obviously, you know, you, you never like to see your team losing regardless of who they're playing. But it is what it is and we move on and hopefully we can bounce back this weekend. So with correct results, as you can see, we managed to get 7 out of 10, which isn't too bad. So here's the accumulator. Another frustrating weekend. Aston Villa this time letting us down, so they won't be getting a Christmas card from me this year. Um, they managed to do 2 all at home against Stoke. Very frustrating indeed. But hey-ho, you can't win them all. And in my case, you can't win any. So let's hope... I've been really good this year and Santa brings me a winning accumulator. But uh, let's go with the predictions first for this weekend's action. So starting with tonight's game, uh, we've got Wolves against Liverpool. I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Liverpool. Then with Saturday's games, we've got the lunchtime kickoff of Arsenal against Burnley. We're going to go for a 2-0 victory to Arsenal. And then the three o'clocks, we've got Bournemouth against Brighton Hove Albion. Not wearing my top again, I'm wearing a Batman shirt instead. Um, we're going to go for a one-all draw. I think Brighton are good enough to get a point. Obviously, I want us to win. But uh, last year, we played Bournemouth. We lost 2-1. Uh, it was a very frustrating game to watch live. But um, I believe that we can definitely get a point from this game. So we shall wait and see. So a one-all draw. Uh, and then we've got Chelsea at home. They're against Leicester. We're going to go for a 3-0 victory to Chelsea. Then we've got Huddersfield against Southampton. We're going for a 1-0 victory to Huddersfield. Then Manchester City, we've got Palace. Sorry, Palace. We're going to go for a 4-0 victory to Manchester City. Then we've got Newcastle at home to Fulham. We're going for 2-0 victory to Newcastle. And then we've got West Ham at home against Watford. We're going for a 2-1 victory to West Ham. And then the later kickoff, we've got Cardiff against Manchester United with their newly appointed interim manager, Anigan Solskjaer. Um... Should be an interesting uh, appointment. Um, he might be able to rescue the season um, and possibly get something positive for, you know, Manchester United. But anyway, we're going to go for a 1-0 victory to Manchester United. So only just. And then the Sunday game, we've got Everton at home against Spurs. We're going to go for a 2-1 victory to Spurs. Now, obviously, we've got Christmas coming up. Hope you all nearly sorted for Christmas. I'm nearly done. It's got a few more things to do. That'd be barley. And uh, then I'll be sorted. But what I'm going to do is do my predictions and accumulator for the Boxing Day games uh, now. So obviously what I'll do next week is just put a reminder on my Twitter, which is at Dynesy1985. Uh, feel free to follow me or tweet me anytime you want. Abuse, non-abuse, whatever you want. Any comments about the videos or my predictions or my bets, feel free. Uh, all is welcome. Apart from the abuse, but, you know, you can deal with that anyway. You can sort that out. But anyway, so here are the predictions for the Boxing Day games. Starting off with Fulham at home against Wolves. We're going for a two-all draw. Uh, and then the, I think these are the three o'clock games. Uh, starting off with Burnley against Everton. That will be a one-all draw. Then we've got Palace at home against Cardiff. We're going for a 2-0 victory to Palace. As pain me as that does to say. Uh, and then we've got Leicester at home to Manchester City. We're going to go for a 2-1 victory away for Manchester City. We've got Liverpool at home against Newcastle. We're going to go for a 3-0 victory to Liverpool. And then Manchester United at home against Huddersfield. A 2-0 victory to Manchester United. Spurs at home against Bournemouth. 3-0 to Spurs. And then we got the mighty Brighton, come on boys, against Arsenal. Um, last season, obviously, I was confident that we would uh, beat Arsenal because they were on such a bad run and the confidence was low and we went and won 2-1. That was on Sky. This game's also on Sky, so I shall be watching closely and um, hoping for the same result, obviously. Um, 
this time I think it's going to be a lot tighter game. Arsenal could easily one away with the result because they are on much better form compared to last season. I think anybody could say that. It's a bit obvious. Um, so, I'm, however, I am going to go for a 1-0 victory to Brighton. I just think we could sneak a 1-0 victory and it would be good to beat the mighty Arsenal again. And then we've got Watford at home against Chelsea. We'll go for a 2-1 victory to Watford. Gonna go for a bit of a shock of the day, if you like. And then on the Thursday, uh, we've got Southampton at home to West Ham, and that will be a 1-0 victory to Southampton. And then for the accumulator on that on the boxing day, it's a nine-fold accumulator, which is a bit frustrating because the odds aren't so great right now, but it is what it is. So it's a nine-fold for this one. Uh, starting off with Liverpool, they're at home against Newcastle. Um, Manchester United, they're at home against Huddersfield. Uh, and then we got Spurs at home to Bournemouth. And then in the Championship, Norwich are at home to Nottingham Forest. Leeds are at home to Blackburn. And then in League One, we got Barnsley against Peterborough. Come on, Barnsley. I hate Peterborough. Uh, and then Sunderland at home against Bradford. And then in League Two, we've got Colchester at home to Stevenage. And then in the National League, we've got Harrogate Town against Halifax. Fax Town. Uh, the odds on that are 36.79 to 1. We've put a £3 bet on that. And if that comes in, that will be £113.40. So now to the accumulator for this weekend. I've kind of mixed it around a bit, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Uh, this one's a sevenfold, so it's for this weekend coming up. Starting off with Chelsea, they're at home to Leicester. Manchester City, they're at home to Palace. And then the championship, we've got Nottingham Forest against QPR. Derby against Bristol City. Uh, and then we've got Shrewsbury, they're at home to Coventry. Wickham, they're at home against AFC Wimbledon. And then Lincoln against Newport County. The odds on that one are 53.58 to 1. We've put a £3 bet on that one as well. And if that one comes in, that'd be £163.74. And an extremely useful win just before Christmas. Come on. We shall wait and see what happens. So that's it. Those are my um, predictions and accumulators for this weekend and Boxing Day coming up. Um, hope you all have a really good Christmas and um, behave yourselves. And I hope Santa doesn't bring you a lump of coal. He might bring me one, but uh, we'll wait and see. I'll let you know. But uh, that'll do for now. Take care. Cheers.